Are you looking for a homeschool science curriculum that will help meet your kids right where they're at? They can easily be adapted with every learning style and can fit the season of life you're in, both budget-wise as well as busyness? Not to mention sparking creativity for each of your learners. Well, then stick around because that's exactly what we're going to talk about today in this video as I share with you guys how Apologia has done all of that for our family and more. So let's get started. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Katie and I have six kids. I actually only have a handful of curriculums, two actually, in fact, that I use with all six of my children because there's a wide range of ages developmental abilities, as well as learning styles. But apology has been something that has fit all six of my kids for over seven years. One of the things I do love about it is there is something for each of my kids, regardless of their learning styles. So for my kinesthetic learners, those that need a little hands-on movement to be able to get the information to stick, there are lots of fun experiments at the end of every chapter, as well as fun try this sections all throughout the material where they can interact with things, usually without the need of a lot of supplies or materials to kind of illustrate the points that they are learning about. If you have a kinesthetic learner, I highly recommend chemistry and physics for your kids as it has lots of hands-on opportunities to learn. But it's not just the science experiments and the try this sections. It is also the student journals. Now for the younger years, I tend to just give them a notebook, like a blank notebook or drawing pad and have them draw or illustrate what they're hearing about. But for the older elementary, definitely middle school, definitely high school age, I really love to use the student journals. These have a lot of different ways that my kids can interact with the material in a movement way. They can write notes. There are places where they can ask them review questions if they feel more comfortable writing it out. They have the ability to do fun things like crossword puzzles or coloring sheets. And on the back, they have a lot of different flip books or interactive materials that you'll be called to kind of glue in at different parts within the book. So for instance, my sons have been doing anatomy and physiology recently, and they really enjoyed putting together the little man flip book from the back of the book. This activity is really fun as you get to see the layers of a human. You get to see from the bones and the muscle and the tissue to the skin and more. This is such a fun way to interact with the material in a hands-on way. For my visual learners, there are lots of different charts and pictures that are engaging and updated in the Apologia curriculum. Now, a note to parents, as someone who's used this curriculum for a lot of years, don't forget to let your kids actually see these images. I realized that I was very guilty of reading aloud to them. And while the text was engaging, my visual learners were missing out on this critical piece. So now what we do is we do an audio book or an audio version of Apologia, and they get to like look through the book and flip through it themselves. This has been a great compromise and allowed my visual learners to take advantage of these great visuals that Apologia offers. For the older years, they actually have videos that you can get if you'd like to accompany the different textbooks. These video lessons are gonna be very engaging for your visual learners and are going to kind of help connect those pieces in a real life way. Plus, in their self-paced courses, they actually do all of the experiments in a video. So if you have a child who does better seeing what they're supposed to do, instead of reading physical instructions, they're able to see that and to repeat it themselves. For your auditory learners, there is the audiobook option, or obviously just reading it aloud can help your child to absorb that information. But something I tell people often is don't forget that your auditory learners are not the ones that often learn best through listening. They're actually usually the ones that learn best through talking talking because they need to hear their own thoughts out loud in order to process them well. Usually your auditory learners are going to be your loudest kids. So for these kids, the what do you remember sections in each book are incredibly helpful. All throughout the book, at different points, they'll have a pausing point to say, hey, what do you remember so far? And they'll ask them a few questions. One, know that this is a great place to pause for the day. A lot of times parents aren't sure how to divide up the reading for the time. It usually takes two weeks to go through one chapter. And if you have the student journals, they actually have a suggested schedule of how much you should read each day. But stopping at those what do you remember sections is a really good stopping point. It allows your child to be able to verbally answer what they remember and to narrate these things naturally. And best yet for the parents in the back of the book is all of the answers to these questions in case maybe you need a refresher yourself. But Apologia isn't just a good fit for every learning style, it's also a good fit for every season of life. We have been through many different seasons of life with Apologia, and it really has been a great fit for each and every one of those. When it comes to the season of budget, 
There have been years where I have needed to go much more budget friendly with Apologia and it's been a great option. I was able to purchase just the textbook and be able to do the curriculum without any problems. And there were other seasons that I had the budget to be able to do things like the student journal or where I needed to save more time and was able to purchase things like the science kit from Nature's Workshop Plus that can be used alongside Apologia that has all the experiments literally bagged and tagged ready to go so I didn't have to worry about that. So regardless of the season you're in, if time is more valuable right now or money is more valuable right now, Apologia can be a good fit for both. It also works for every busyness level. There may be those seasons where you have lots of time. You want to just sit and dwell in your science lessons. You want to dig deeper and explore. Well, Apologia can do just that with you because not only do you have those hands-on experiments and engaging and amazing textbooks, but they have additional learning resources. At the beginning of every Apologia textbook is a special link and password that you can utilize to access a whole web page dedicated to that specific level of Apologia. In this website, you'll find links, articles, videos, and more activity ideas that you can utilize to accompany you in the learning if you wanna go a little bit deeper. And maybe you're more in sort of a mid-transition season. There are times that you want to sit and learn and do all the things, but you don't quite have time to do all of the experiments and all the activities, that's okay. You can simply pick and choose what works best for you. For me personally, my friends and I get together every other week and we do at least one experiment from the chapter and then I do We'll do some of the try this sections here or there as we go, but we've been able to adapt it and make it fit for our particular season. For those super busy seasons of life though, it has been a complete lifesaver. Being able to listen to the audio textbook in the car on the way to and from doctor's appointments and therapy appointments has been a huge help. And next year, as my boys are entering high school, I'm going to be able to put them in the self-paced classes online. This allows them to have the instruction automatic grading, their lessons taught to them, but they can go at the pace that fits our family schedule. They even have live classes if you'd rather that personal interaction aspect. So really something to fit every season that you're walking through. Also a great fit for every age and stage. They have curriculum from preschool all the way up to high school. So something there for everybody. It also lends itself incredibly well to family style learning as everybody who is like kindergarten, first grade up to sixth or seventh grade can do the same curriculum together no need to separate and divide and cause chaos in your life. You can sit together and enjoy your science right alongside one another. As your kids get older and they start transitioning to the middle school and high school curriculum, yes, those will be done independently, but there is a seamless transition for your kids as they started out in the younger years and they follow similar models just with more difficult material. This has been a great transition for my kids as they are moving from that togetherness time to more independence. While I love that it means meets every learner's needs. And I love the fact that it meets every season of life that we're in. I also love the fact that it sparks that curiosity in each of my learners. What do I mean by that? Well, let me explain. A lot of people get frustrated with the Young Explorer series because they see that there are more books there than you could possibly complete, even if you started in kindergarten and went all the way up to seventh grade. The reason for this though is very simple. Apology believes firmly that when your child dives into science based off of their interests, they're going to retain information better, they're going to enjoy their lessons, and by default, they're going to learn more. So it was never intended for your child to finish every single one of these books. It was intended that you follow their love of learning and nurture that through studying topics that are of interest to them. And despite common opinion, Apologia actually does have a diverse amount of topics within each book. Yes, there's an overarching theme, things like biology, chemistry, botany, astronomy, all of these things have an overarching theme, but you are discussing a lot of subtopics underneath each one of those things. For instance, we're doing land animal this year and we've done flying creatures before. Yes, you're studying animals for an entire year, but there are so many different types of animals that they cover within each book. It has never felt stale or old to us. And if you're looking for a great book that covers a wide range of topics, I recommend Earth Science. Earth Science covers everything from a little bit of astronomy to talking about the atmosphere, the core of the earth, biomes, habitats, weather, 
color and more. So this can be a really great fit if you wanna kind of bounce around between a lot of topics, but stay within the same sphere of information. But why would I wanna stay within the same sphere of information? Why wouldn't I want to constantly mix it up and just bounce from topic to topic? Well, the reason is because Apologia knows that the best way we learn is through building on connections. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. Each of the pieces of information you learn all throughout every single one of their courses is new information, but it is building on the information prior. And this makes stronger connection points and helps your kids have a deeper learning experience. Something for everyone. If you want to learn more about Apologia, check out my link down in my description. I would love to show you all the things that they have to offer. And be sure to check out this video here if you want to see a peek inside of the astronomy textbook or any of the other curriculums that we've used so far.